there, one on YouTube land. This is your boy Mac, and welcome to Metal Lancer Gaming. Welcome back to my returning viewers. And today, we're going to be playing some Jade Empire in full HD this time. Yeah, I know I did some uh, Jade Empire videos before. Yeah, there was I one swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you, even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Sure, why not? Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. <laughs> you are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Okay. Good to know. Master Lee just went... You have some time to... I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. years ago and still holds up well. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. <laughs> Smiling now. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. I am charged with giving whatever... Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here. 
because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. Mm. Good to know. Damn good to know. True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. Mm. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord. A misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care. But that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea, but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. Hmm. The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. All right. I am... Who are you interested in? Master Lee is a private man, and I will not presume to speak for him. His interest in you surpasses the care of any master I have known. He must see great potential in you. If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home, but I am settled here. I have nothing to go back to. It has been several years since I arrived in Two Rivers. I was surprised to find a teacher of Master Lee's ability so far out on the borderlands. It was a fortuitous... I have studied the martial arts all my life and serve your master as I am able. He is devoted to your training and needs someone to assist the other students. It is not important. Suffice to say that I prefer this little village to the temptations of a greater city. Enough about me. What else can I do for you? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us, after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. The tricky part is making sure we're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. 
You should think carefully before bruising the tender eagle. Oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you... to be approached. Sometimes I wonder... You're right. Master... I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up. You and Dawnstar have both had a lifetime of training under Master Lee. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there some... No! Goodbye. Take care of yourself. One day I'll reach your level of skill, but not unless I keep practicing with Smiling Mountain. Typical. Oh yeah, this way. Head up this way, see what we can see here. Senior student, and not too many people come back here this time of day, so we thought we'd take a moment to practice. Would you like to join us? Sure, why not? This is good news. We'll try to go easy on you. <laughs> Thousand cuts. Okay. <laughs> enough I didn't think we'd win but it was an honor to face you thank you very much You're welcome we have to go smiling mountains going to be teaching a class soon and then we have weapons training okay cool Game has definitely stood the test of time.
you should do it. Let's turn the music down a bit. Okay, cool. That should do. All right. I have been healed. Ah, that was fun. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And I think now would be a good time to, uh, you know, let y'all know that, you know, hey, if you enjoy my videos, hit that like button. You know, comment if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You know, comment if you want, subscribe if you haven't yet, all that good stuff, you know. You know hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content, and definitely share with your friends. Yeah, this game is bl a blast. It really is. So, yeah. Well, let's get back to it. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. Really? You would have dropped everything to make way for me. I don't think so. You're far too important to waste time worrying about my education. Master Lee no. certainly considers your training important enough to shove all others aside, so why shouldn't I bow down to your greatness? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Oh, Try wow. Lynn. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at oh, this school. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> Boy, did he ever ham up that... ham it up for that part. Yeah. Those who don't know, Gal the Lesser is voiced by uh, by old Malcolm Reynolds himself. Old, uh... <laughs> oh man! Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember that classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that, as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, 
Nicho came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes... Too bad they didn't have uh, Nathan Fillion in this uh, game for very long. Well, you'll see what I mean, for those who haven't played it. But yeah. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? <laughs> there is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. Ooh. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gal. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. <laughs> Thank you, Gal, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. Oh, damn. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. Series freaking. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Uh, okay, there, bro. Cool story. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. What are you? Did he show you he little acts like gal? He's above Master oh. Lee's teachings. Whoops. <laughs> Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. I love this game so much. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Hmm. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things, but you must discover it must be so frustrating, but exciting. It is not the same. You are filled with the promise of great things, even if they are unknown. My skills will always be darker. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some... I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? 
that you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's gotcha. workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Okay, let's go. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Oh wait, wrong way. Gates up here. Head on up to two rivers, get our stuff, get our weapons, here we go. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. Okie dokie. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Haven't... Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? It's so awful. Haven't... No... Okay. Okay, where'd he at? Where's he at? Oh man. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. I think I know. Well, I thought I knew, but I guess not. What was that noise from the town square? Are people fighting? Yep. Oh, here it is, Doug. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. Hmm. If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after. And I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. All right. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. Yeah, I think I'll go with the staff. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. Hmm. How your master found it, I cannot say. But this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. 
a young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. <laughs> okay. It could be pure fantasy, right. but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. Yeah, I'll take Golden Star. Why the hell not? I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. Mm -hmm. I'll explain why in a moment. But suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. Okay. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this. But don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say go. A young no. It could. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master really? Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. All right. Oh, no, not the old Bioware I should go thing. Okay. That you should. Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. All right. Master Lee hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. No problem. I will run to the school and seal the gate. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. Not a problem. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I'd better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're going to sneak around. No. Okay. Uh, no, please. I, I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. Uh, what, what a joke. Uh, it's locked. Okay. Head back down here. Thousand cuts. Focus. He did the trick. There is no time to talk. We have to save. Okay, let's go. Your business. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits. All right. 
Auto save, yay. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Seriously? A douchebag. Oh! Oh! Yeah. care of business. Oh, and here comes some more. Yay. Thousand cuts. Go. What are you? Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Oh boy. Pirates. Is that pirate ghosts? I'm not sure. Whichever. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. Yeah, okay, uh, cool story, bro. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay there. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Yep, total badass. You! Well fought, my student. But I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin. But no one will hear of your success. Oh. Ooh. 
It would seem that my past Straight is catching up, up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Okie dokie. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain the school. You have done Already well, then. but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. All right. Yay, level up. Woohoo. Yeah, nice. All right, let's, uh, well, okay. Okay, cool. Right on. All right, 10 style points. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, that'll work. All right, good. Hmm. Okay, we're good. Save changes. Okay, now we're good. All right. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. Yeah, he punched the frickin' ship. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't yeah, attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything hmm. to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else.
Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never... St I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks, with glimpses of the spirit... I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Hmm. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was or what I needed protection from. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. <laughs> there you go again with your playful words. I never know when you're serious or what my reaction should be. Thanks for this talk. The events giggity. on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve giggity, my giggity. mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Li was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to some... Sure, let's go. Well, we've already visited Gu Jin, who used to be a go Merchant Fen Do is in the village square. Oh, for training or learning the philosophy behind Mark. Oh, of course, smiling man. Yeah, I already got that. Okay, let's go. Then we go. should reach. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? Didn't make it? No. Please, no. This town is... was his home. He shouldn't have died like this. Hopefully Master Lee can give this some meaning. A sorcerer here. Not at all. Yep. Well, Nikasuri here, Kwana. E Kirnik, well, Nikasuri. You could Nikunk Uno Sa, your son could knock a Ukiorir. Your son, ye year, well, Nikasuri here, Kwana no ear, was so on at a hockey. Wo Anania if we were Ox on a rock knocka Ox Napier. Ikir Nick Tina Piru, wo if we were Ox son Puno. Sayros the Usiot, Saro Rasipa, Ukari, Napsoaku. Not at all. Na pira pirni, nik takatashi. Ikir nik tine piru, wo ifirek uok son puno. Sadakwa ir nika. Not at all. Na pira pirni, nik takatashi. Kun nir fuk. Kun. Wo ananiya ir. Unnick. 
You could ni kun u no sa ir son kud no ka u gyorir. U ni ka su... I kir ni tine piru, u i pere sa ir yagoak ko ka na to si ir i pat ni a to u no napadi ir u vir. Kunir puk no song kud na no wana nyapir isana yuyo. Wuni kasuri er kwana no kuni ug nawat. Te kotro tuaso. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed... peaceful, if a bit... lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find... At least, they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders, unconnected to this world, and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander oh until they go mad. That's not good. I'm sorry. This has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. I don't know. People just want to be left alone. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if this Master Lee will be waiting. Yep, let's go. Come on. There you are. Finally, let's go. Jeez. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Don't forget his senior student. They say... Hey, boys. Look who it is. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? I think so. I say we teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gao are around. <laughs> Oh, boy. You're not going anywhere. Gao will give us fat silver bonuses if we teach you a lesson about respect. Thousand cuts! Give it a chance. My style! Which one do you mean? Surely not that arrogant gal boy. Are you crazed? No, he's the cute one in the blue vest with the yellow sash. Trust me, if you were a young woman in this village, you'd know who he was. Nice. Yes, I'll help if I... Well, we've already visited... Mer then we should... Yeah, give me a moment. All right, took care of that problem. To the school. Oh. 
Okay, I think this will be a good spot to leave off for now. Took care of the bandits on the beach with the help of Master Lee and all that. I have been stuff, healed. Anyways. Anyways, yep. Sounds about right. Yep, yep. Hey. You know, like I said before, if you enjoy my videos, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Comment if you want. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any content. And share with your friends. Greatly appreciate you. Uh, if you uh, watched all the way to the end here, I'm glad you stuck around. So, yeah. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay safe out there. This is Max signing off. Have a good one, guys.